tell you a secret, and I said, I know. You are a virgin, 35 years old. And she got out a notebook, 10 or 12 poems, a life work, and I had to read them. And I tried to be kind, but they were very bad. And I took her somewhere, to boxing matches, she coughed in the smoke and kept looking around and around at all the people and then at the fighters clenching her hands. You never get excited, do you? she asked. But I got pretty excited in the hills that night and met her three or four more times, helped her with some of her poems and she rammed her tongue halfway down my throat. When I left her, she was still a virgin and a very bad poetess. I think that when a woman has kept her legs closed for 35 years, it's too late, either for love or for poetry. No charge. This babe in the grandstand with dyed red hair, kept leaning her breasts against me, talking about Gardena poker parlors, but I blew smoke into her face and told her about a Van Gogh exhibition I'd seen up on the hill, and that night when I took her home, she said Big Red was the best horse she'd ever seen until I stripped down, though I think on the Van Gogh thing they charged 50 cents. Winter comes in a lot of places in August. Winter comes in a lot of places in August, like the railroad yards. When we come over the bridge, hundreds of us, like Hannibal over the mountain. Winter comes in Rome, winter comes in Paris, in Miami. And we come over our silver tracks, carrying our olive lunch pails with a good fat wife's coffee and two bologna sandwiches and oh, just a tidbit found somewhere to chill our gross man bones and prove to us that love is not clipped out like a coupon. Here we come. <laughs> Hundreds of us, blank faced and rough. We can take it, god damn it, over our silver tracks, smoking king size in the grapefruit air. Here we come, bulls stamping in cheap cotton, bad boys all. Aw, oh, hell, we'd rather play the ponies or chance of sunburn at the shore, but we're men, god damn it, men, can't you see, men coming over our bridge, taking our rum and our coffee, bitter, brave, and numb. The state of world affairs from a third floor window. I am watching a girl dressed in a light green sweater, blue shorts, long black stockings. There's a necklace of some sort, but her breasts are small, poor thing. And she watches her nails as her dirty white dog sniffs the grass in erratic circles. Pigeon is there too, circling, half dead with a tick of a brain. And I am upstairs in my underwear, three day beard, pouring a beer and waiting for something literary or symphonic to happen. But they keep circling, circling, and it's 
thin old man in his last winter rose by, pushed by a girl in a Catholic school dress. Somewhere there are the Alps, and ships are now crossing the sea. There are piles and piles of H&A bombs, enough to blow up 50 worlds and Mars thrown in. But they keep circling the girl shifts buttocks, and the Hollywood Hills stand there, stand there, full of drunks and insane people and much kissing in automobiles. But it's no good, Chesara Sara. Her dirty white dog simply will not shit. With a last look at her nail, she, with much whirling of buttocks, walks to her downstairs court, trailed by her constipated dog, simply not worried, leaving me looking upon a most unsymphonic pigeon. Well, from the looks of things, relax. The bombs will never go off. Song for sadists without a place to sit down. Positively grieve no more. Ultimo, ultimo, punch. Heavy, but grassy, hold still. Bitch, the evergreen leaves. Showers of broccoli love. Heaving like a rabbit in a wolf's mouth. You play my flute, broccoli. Pachavi, Pachavi, save me, thunder, elephant, moth of everything I sink, sink and stink and saliva, domino, domino, estes, valgamo, tourist, pissable, shitamo, ock. I deliver handshakes like bombs in the cellar of the Pope. The Pope is pious, I am not. I wear hobnail boots up the sides of virgins drinking buttermilk. Please, Popolo, please, Popolo, sesame, drag. The winter chances of new victory divide the singers from the papal's singular swoop. If eels can climb mountains, men can be eels. If eels can fornicate, men can be eels. Lay sperm like dice in the center of my brain, see what comes out. Walt Whitman staring out the window at the sailors, or Hart Crane done in and Rob discussing the bridge with Osh. No, that is not me. Domino, Popolo, Domino. In spring, the heather says swish. In summer, the heather says wish. In autumn, the heather says die. In winter time, she dies, Domino Pop. I am still here. Yes, uh, that's the one. Yeah, that's what should be read. Okay. Love is a piece of paper torn to bits. All the beer was poisoned and the captain went down and and we had nobody to grab sail and the Northwester ripped the sheets like toenails and we pitched like crazy the hull tearing its sides and all the time in the corner some punk had a drunken slut my wife and was pumping away like nothing was happening and the cat kept looking at me and crawling in the pantry amongst the clanking dishes with flowers and vines painted on them until I couldn't stand it anymore and took the thing and heaved it over the side. Still the hanging on. Paper says rain. Some asshole backing up and down the street. Pup, plop, 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 plop. What does he want? Well, since we're only using one side of the reels, we'd better get busy and filling with something beside.